Today in Calabama Cooking, we are making beef tacos, short rib tacos to be exact, and we're gonna make these short ribs in the Instant Pot. This is everything you've been waiting for, and I'm telling you, it sounded like a lot, because they gonna be chili rub too? Shoo! Yeah, it's all that and more. Come on in the kitchen, let's cook. So guys, I'm getting my gloves on because I'm gonna season up these short ribs. I want you to see I'm using my Instant Pot today. And the Instant Pot is one of those kitchen gadgets that you just gotta have. It will turn you into a superstar in your own house in a half hour. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is start by sauteing this meat up and actually I'm gonna brown it, okay? Because I don't want it to just look like boiled meat. So I've got the saute function on. I'm gonna put a little olive oil in here, let it get ready to go. And here I've got short ribs, and I'm using boneless short ribs today. You can get them with the bone on, but because my ultimate goal is tacos, I'm gonna go ahead and use the boneless ones so they're just ready to shred. Here is my chili rub mixture. I've got chili powder, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and some salt. We're gonna give this a little mix, okay? You can make your own chili rub just, this, just like this, or use a rub or whatever you wanna use on it. The flavor is really up to you, but this is just today's stuff. Ooh, it smells like tacos. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put a light coating of this olive oil on the meat here, and this is just gonna help the uh, flavor stick, the seasoning stick. Oh yeah, pot's getting hot. And I'm going to generously, generously rub this all on this meat. What we're gonna do is brown this in our Instant Pot, and then we're going to cook it. Now, the reason this recipe is special to me, I think, what makes it special is I love short ribs when they're cooked right, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing with short ribs, guys. You cannot rush the process. If you try to cook short ribs, oops. <laughs> if you try to cook short ribs fat, they will be tough as nails. So you have to take your time. Normally that's like three, four, maybe upwards of five hours in the oven, low and slow. But who has time for that? Enter the Instant Pot. You're gonna be able to cook these short ribs in the Instant Pot in under an hour. So it works out perfect. We're gonna go ahead and get these going in the pot, and then we're gonna make a salsa to go with them. And I'm telling you, you can you can have short ribs for dinner. And better yet, you don't, you know, if you spend like five hours on short ribs, you're like, I'm not wasting that in a taco. Y'all know what I'm saying? But you won't feel like that this way because it just took an hour. All right, see how I've got the meat nice and coated? I'm gonna put it in here so it can start browning. Hear that little bit of sizzle? We're not trying to do a whole lot here. We're just trying to get some color going on this meat. Let that flavor start doing what it does. The Instant Pot is so versatile. It's got the saute function and the pressure cook function. So I'm only putting three in there now because I don't want to overcrowd it. I'm gonna give these about four minutes or so on each side just to get a nice little brownie. We're gonna turn it over so it looks good, set it aside. Then we're gonna get our base of uh, seasoning sauce in there that it's gonna cook in. And we are on our way to chili rub short rib instant pot tacos. That name is too long, y'all. <laughs> Stick with me. Okay guys, so now our meat has cooked up. You see how I just got some color on it? I just wanted to get it brown a little bit so it won't look like gray boiled meat. Went on all four sides, just turned it around, got it nice and just started, all right? It is in no way done. The pot's gonna do that part. But now that I've taken everything out, there's some good bits down there. We're gonna deglaze this pan, first off, with just a little bit of tequila, okay? See that? And this is just about a half a cup of tequila. You don't have to use tequila to deglaze it. You can deglaze it just with broth, that works too. But sometimes, I just found, let me use this to scrape up these bits. When you do this, you get a little, another layer of flavor in there and it cooks into the dish. So you don't even really recognize it, you just know it tastes good. It tastes right good, <laughs> okay? So you see how we're doing that here, deglazing this pan with that little bit of tequila, still on saute, the saute function is still on. I'm gently stirring to get up the bits at the bottom because that's where the flavor is. And that's coming from, remember we had that chili rub all over the meat and the olive oil? See how this is coming to a boil? Yes, baby. This is what we want. Oh, smells good. Did I get it off? Okay, there's one little drop there. So that's just a half a cup. All right, now to this, what we're gonna add is some chipotle peppers. I got it on my finger already. <laughs> this is chipotle peppers from the can. And all they did was take out the peppers and their juice, and I'm gonna add this in here just like so, okay? So again, we want this flavor in here. These are gonna be nice and spiced. 
consider yourself warm, nice and spiced. <laughs> and I'm also gonna put some garlic cloves in here and some beef broth. I've got about a cup of beef broth here, starting with water, but y'all know how I do. <laughs> then I go and get my Better Than Bouillon, I put basically concentrated broth in there, just like that. All right, and I'm gonna give all of this a little stir together. Oh yes, just like so. And just to make sure we're gonna use all of our seasoning, that little bit of seasoning we had left from putting it on our meat, I'm just gonna add that to this as well. There we go. And we're gonna get ready to get our meat in here. So you see these peppers that are in here, these chipotle peppers? We're gonna let those cook as well with the, the meat because the flavor's gonna infuse. And then we're gonna be able to take those and cut them up with all of our sauces. I'm telling y'all, this is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the saute function. This is a trivet. I'm putting the trivet down, the handle's up, and I'm gonna add my meat back, just like so. I'm going to put this on pressure cook or the time cook function, whichever you call it or however your machine does it, for 40 minutes. I'm using about, there might be about a pound and a half or two pounds of meat here. This is not a big cut of steak, but we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. Cook this for 40 minutes and then we'll be back. Well guys, our short ribs are almost done in the Instant Pot. They've got a few minutes left and then we have to give it time to naturally release, okay, the pressure. So we still got a few minutes there. We're gonna make a salsa, a sweet salsa, because these are chili rubbed uh, short ribs, right? Which means they're spicy. And I put that extra chipotle pepper in there with the sauce. These are, they're, they're hot, you know, um, I cook spicy and uh, yeah, these are hot. So how we're gonna offset that, a great way to offset heat is with sweet. So we're gonna make a pineapple and mango salsa. Here I've got about a cup of pineapple and a cup of mango, okay? And this is gonna be the perfect way to balance out the heat of that taco, okay? I've set these up into just bite-sized pieces. Hope you can see that, okay? Just bite-sized pieces that you can get in your mouth and also we'll put it on top of the taco a little bit if you want. You can just be creative, all right? We're gonna also add to that some red onions. I like red onions and salsas because it just, the color is good and the flavor is very strong. But don't overdo it with the red onions because if you put too many red onions in there, over time as it sits, it'll sour. Sometimes, green bell peppers, by the way. Sometimes what I actually do with these kinds of things is I don't put the red onions in, I put them on the side and garnish it on the top so that the salsa doesn't get um, go sour. Make sense? But in this instance, I'm not making a ton, so I'll be okay. All right, I've got some green bell peppers in here. You guys, I consider doing um, jalapenos in this salsa, but I didn't because even if I take the seeds out and the jalapenos aren't hot, I really want to leave room for these the meat to be the star of the, the the spicy pro portion of the program, all right? Now here, look, I'm just tossing together these ingredients for this mango salsa. I'm gonna put some more green bell peppers in here and just a dash more of these red onions, not a lot. There's about a tablespoon total probably of red onions in there. Okay, then we're gonna take a little olive oil, give it a little squeeze, not much. And I'm gonna take a fresh lime and squeeze the juice in there. Now, if you don't have fresh lime juice, that's okay. All is not lost. <laughs> Just get the can out that you have and use that. All right, so there's that. And some salt. Ah, the salt was trying to hide. Salsa means salt. Okay, a little pinch more. It's so easy to put together a salsa. It's just any flavors you want. And here we've got some fresh cilantro. I love cilantro. I probably picked up too much, but it's because I love cilantro. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this a nice stir together. Let's dash the olive oil in there to warm it up. Not heat warm it up, but profile warm it up. It's got the lime juice in there to brighten it up. You hear that? You hear that? That is our Instant Pot saying that it is done with its 40 minute cook. Now we're gonna let it release the pressure and then we'll go ahead and put our tacos together. It'll stop beeping in a minute, just hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna add a few more of these in there. Okay, and again, this is a really quick and pretty little salsa. Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's give this a taste. Trying to get one of everything. <laughs> Ish. The magic. Oh my God, I was so good. Okay. Yes. 
Y'all know I get excited when the food is good. That fresh lime juice is everything. With a pinch of salt. Okay, so here's our salsa is ready for our tacos. Now we're just gonna let the uh, pressure get released from our Instant Pot. And we're gonna take our taco meat apart, our short ribs, and we're gonna put these together and prepare to feast. Well guys, our short ribs are done. I'm so excited, it smells so good in here. I'm gonna open up our pressure, our Instant Pot. I was gonna say pressure cooker, but that's old school. Instant Pot. And, oh, that little suction you felt, that was pressure. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful, look at this. I'm gonna pull these out, see the trivet? <gasps> oh, beautiful. Oh. Oops, <laughs> okay. And on the bottom of this pan here, we've got this delicious sauce with these, with the garlic and the peppers that have cooked together. And this is gonna be a wonderful juice for our meat to sit in. All right, we're gonna pull this meat apart. See, can you see that? I hope you can. <laughs> Actually, you know what I think I'll do, guys? I think I'm gonna try to pull it apart on this plate. I'm gonna switch so you can see how it goes, okay? Because I want y'all to get this. I want y'all to enjoy the goodness that is these. Now, all you're going to really need to do is just take your fork and look. See how that meat is coming apart? That's all you got to do. This is some good looking meat here. Y'all, I just want to eat it. You see how I'm doing that? And it's just tender and coming apart. That's what the pressure cooker does. In the oven, this would take all day. But that pressure cooker, y'all, 40 minutes. Look, it's done. Look. Look, here's my little boy. You know, he's almost eight now. He used to say, yuck, mommy, yuck. <laughs> See this? And that's all you're gonna do with all of these. Then we're gonna put some juice on the other, back in them, and make our tacos. All right, I have pulled apart all of our short ribs, and I'm gonna go in here and get a little bit of this sauce that's at the bottom. Remember those, those chipotle peppers are in there? Like this, I'm not gonna put those chipotle peppers directly in there because you will hurt somebody with those. But if you have somebody who thinks that they got it like that and they need it, you let them do it, okay? But for the other people, just get a little sauce and I'm gonna put it over the meat like this. And this is gonna help this meat stay nice and hydrated. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> All right, let's build a taco, look at this. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, confession, we snuck a little taste off camera. <laughs> All right, here we go. First things first, let's start with the meat. Now I'm gonna make these like I make tacos, okay? See this, y'all? Filling this up, getting this going really good here. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Okay, then we're gonna go on to the next one. And this short ribs are just, it's such a good meat and it's so tender because of how we've cooked it. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And it just, you see how it comes, it just, it's just pretty meat, y'all. The meat is just pretty. Okay, and you're saying, girl, that's too much in there. These is Calabama tacos. <laughs> now, when I snuck that little taste of meat, it's hot. <laughs> so, we're gonna make sure we use this salsa here. See how we're just gonna put that right on top? That's gonna help cool this off. And we can also put some salsa on the side and you can eat it as a salad with your taco as well to help it. Now here I've got some avocados that I've sli an avocado I sliced up, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put this in there. Look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? This is a pretty taco here, y'all. Let me wipe my hand, hold on. One more piece over here, okay? And we've got lime here. Give this a squeeze of fresh lime juice. This fresh lime juice wakes everything up. I love these citruses. All right, a little bit of, I don't know how to say the cheese right, so I'm not gonna embarrass myself, <laughs> okay? I don't worry, I'm gonna clean up the mess around it. There, all right. And some cilantro. And a little sour cream. All right, let me turn this over. Oops. <laughs> okay. And, ah, there we go. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, is that how we gonna sound after we eat these hot tacos? <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna clean this mess up. But look at that. Beautiful chili rub short rib tacos 
super spicy with a nice little sweet touch on the side made in the Instant Pot. And you can't see the short, I guess I, I probably made them too big, you can't see the short. I don't know, y'all can tell it's good. I'm finna get into this. Thank you for watching with me today. Thanks for hanging out with me in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't think we can even edit out that last part. You know, the, the, the farting squeeze can. <laughs> I love you, fam. We have way too much fun here. All right, have a great day. I'll see you next time right back here at the Love Lab for more Calabama cooking with your girl, Chef Lorius. Happy cooking. <laughs> oh, these look so good. Mm. Thank you.